Well, morning folks, how y'all making? Today we're gonna head out to that public land. We're gonna go try and get us some nutria rats. The weather is perfect for it. It's nice and chilly. I don't know if you can see my breath or not. We had frost on the rooftops this morning. I got my 22 rifle and my shotgun because, you know, I'm such a great shot. We're just gonna have to see, uh, you know, which one I can hit those little suckers with. But the limit on nutria is five. I think we could probably get that. Because yesterday I was out running and uh, I seen 12 of them just in the canal on one little run. So I'm going to get out there. Sun's just coming up. And, uh, you know, let's see if we can uh, get a few of them little swamp rats. Stay tuned. Well, all right, we just made it to the uh, to the public land. So um, I'm gonna get these cameras set up and I'm gonna trek on down this canal and into the uh, to the marshes and see if I can't find us a nutria rat. Yeah. Oh, I see one right there. He's right there, folks. I'll try and get my 22 set up. See if we can't pop him while he's right there on the bank. Let me get that GoPro on. Well, while I was fumbling around getting the cameras and everything ready and uh, getting that gun loaded, he got spooked and he took off. Smart little bugger, ain't he? There's one right there on the bank, y'all. Get the boat to stop moving. First shot, we got him, y'all. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah. Let's go get that booger. Not a big guy. Oh, well, he's pretty big. Heck yeah, boys. We'll take that. That's one. There's one swimming right, right past this point. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to him though. There he is right there. I think we missed him. Dove. Oh. Did y'all see that? Man, I just seen two of them. Right there on the bank, right there behind me. As I was pulling up, but when they got close, they took off a little bit deep in the woods. So I shut the motor off and I'm gonna drift a little bit and see, see if they'll stick their heads out. the first one one shot that one we missed with i don't know 10 or 11 10 or 11 of them 10 11 shots we missed them that happens again we switch into the shotgun
Dang it, there's two of them right in there. As soon as I shut the engine off, they disappeared. I think we got him that time, folks. Choo! Oh, man, that's some heavy rats. Oh, that's due. That's due in the boat, y'all. Whoo, that's two, baby. Well, man, this is a lot of fun. This is actually my first time out here. Um, this is my first time actually nutria hunting and uh, targeting nutria. I've shot nutria, like I said before, in a, uh, in a duck blind while we was duck hunting, but this is my first time, yeah. This is my first time hunting these things, me. And it is a lot of fun, because there's not too many animals you can uh, hunt under power ride in the boat shooting but uh because these are nuisance animals and they don't belong here they're an invasive species and they tear up the marsh they uh they don't have the restriction like that you could uh you can take off in the boat and run them down and, and chew them not to mention a lot of people don't like to eat them because they're so ugly but i tell you what mm, they're delicious i'm gonna show y'all how to cook them down make them taste real real good mm -hmm. so i said bon We got another one, folks. Cheer, boy. Heck yeah, fellas. We have to go climb up in there and get him, though. And I didn't bring my waiter, so he's gonna be tough to get. Mmm. 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 Might have should have let him go. We're gonna try it. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Oh, that's not too bad. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Mmm. I don't know, y'all. Might not be able to make it there to get him. Because I got a feeling that right there is going to be super soft. But we're going to find out, though. Oh, no, it's not as bad as I thought. As long as we don't hit a, a hole, we'll be all right. Oh, we might have should have brought the gun. He's still moving. All right. Yeah, he is. All right, y'all. That's three. Had to do a little off-camera dispatching because he wasn't he wasn't quite all the way gone. He gone now. He gone. Whew. This dude's out of shape. He's right in the front of the boat. Oh, he just ducked under. Once he pops up, we're gonna try and take him. There he is. Woo, one shot, one kill. Yeah, boy. All right, all right, all right, fellas. Let's go pick him up. Oh, another rat don't go. <laughs> all right all right well that's four one more and we got our limit well, i guess you can't see too well all right let's go see if we can't get that one more Ooh, boy that's a big nest that's gotta be for a pterodactyl here we go boys it's the last one Oh boy, getting better at this little rifle shooting now. Uh. Come on. Now we give that one shot, one kill some uh, some love with the like button. Hit that thumbs up if you like them shots, boy. Oh, 
Five. Look at that big pile of rats. Good thing the rats that go in your house ain't that big. But that's our limit, so we're gonna head on out, head back to the launch. And we're gonna go get these bad boys cleaned up. And then I'm gonna cook one of them for y'all. Show y'all how I do it, make them taste delicious. Well, what's up? It's actually two days since I went nutrient hunting. So, uh, yeah, now we're gonna do a little catch and cook. These are our ingredients. We got them all together right there. We got us two of them bell pepper. Got some two onion, some garlic, that Tony Sasha raise. This little, I don't know where this came from, but this stuff is amazing. Some olive oil, terra, I don't know, actually, but it's freaking good. And we got some liquid smoke, some what's this here sauce, and some coarse ground black pepper. Oh, wait, I forgot the salt and the kosher salt and of course the nutria just the hind saddle that's all you need ain't really a whole lot of meat left on the rest of it you just get that saddle and some of that back strap right well now that you got all your seasonings ready you slap that bad boy right down there on your chopping board what you're going to want to make sure you do is all of this nasty flimsy fat like type stuff i like to get all that off you don't have to get all of this stuff off but what you really want to try and get off drop it is this look at this I don't know what that is besides disgusting so I'm gonna get all of that off right there just get you a sharp knife and just run it like so make sure all of these hairs is off of there you don't want to be gnawing on hair unless you know you can always save the hair and put it on the side use it as, as floss later but I wouldn't and I just cut myself I'll be right back. And we're back. I only bled through two band-aids before I got it to stop. It's okay. Where was I? Oh yeah. Let's get all these hairs off of here. I think I got just about all of them. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I thought you was going to get away with that. Now that that is done, what I like to do is just take me some salt. Some of this here kosher salt. Or any coarse salt. Sprinkle it on there like so. Then your coarse black pepper. Get it good and covered like so. Takes more than a little dab will do you on this. Do this side. And once you got that, you do the pepper. And heck, we're going to put a little of this Tony's on there for good measure. Usually I wait till it's cooked for a while, but you know what? Let's live on the wild side today. All right. Now we're gonna want to do. Just gonna move this bad boy over here to the side. Wipe off the gown a little bit like that. And because we don't want to cross contaminate, we're gonna get another chopping board, and we're gonna wash this knife because it's filthy. Once you got a clean knife, it's time to cut your onions and bell peppers. So sit back and enjoy this time lapse. you enjoy that as much as I did. Now you're going to want to pour your extra virgin olive oil in your cast iron pot. Don't forget to light your fire. All right, now we got that oil good and hot. I take a seasoned up piece of slab of meat. Ooh. 
Maybe I should have cut this up a little bit. There we go. When you're fairly confident that the first side is brown enough, grab your thongs and flip it over. Thongs? Thongs. Once you're satisfied with all how brown it is, we'll take your le onion and le bel pepper. We're gonna drop it in that in that pot like that, just like. That. Oh, and make sure you drop a piece on the floor. Just mix that around like that. Mmm. 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 Then it's one of the most important parts. That garlic. Ooh, look at that dripping the juice. Put a juice in there like so. Big old spoonful. Mm, man, I like my garlic. Oh, 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 oh. Little dab of dill. Then I take me some little, some of that liquid smoke. Pour a little bit of that in there. Take the what's this here sauce. Sprinkle that a little bit in there. And a little bit more Tony Sachery is just for good measure. Like that. Mix that up just a little bit. There you go. Now all you really got to do is put your top on like that. Turn that fire down to a low heat. Just come and stir it every now and then. When the meat starts to fall off the bone and the bell peppers and onions start to break down, you'll be good to go. Well, it is about two hours later. Let's take a peek. Take a look-see. Ooh, meow, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Here we go. <laughs> That sauce say ball. Mm. No gamey taste whatsoever. It's delicious. But if y'all have any other recipes you want me to try and let you know so you don't have to try it, still got four of those things in the freezer. So just leave that in the comments below and I'll give it a shot and see what happens. But that's going to wrap it up for today, folks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any of my uploads when I upload them, just put your cursor over that notification bell and click.